Okay, for this example, we're going to do a quick question for mechanical design and analysis, specifically for bearings, a bearing that's loaded in the radial direction only. So let's do this FE type question. We know we have a straight cylindrical roller bearing is subjected to a radial load of 2,140 pounds. The life is to be 3,000 hours and at a speed of 500 revolutions per minute, the minimum basic load rating is most nearly what? And we want the units in pounds. What is the minimum basic load rating? So this is going to be the load rating where we have plastic deformation. So it's very excessive and it's a design criteria that we need to have once we're picking out bearings, specifically using our manufacturing tables. So we know we can use an FE equation that is given in the handbook. It's a simple equation and this is specific to the basic the basic load rating for a ball slash roller bearing selection and we know this is only for radial load so you're only assuming that you have one load which is our P and it's the design in the radial load sees the minimum required basic load rating so the units for C will be pounds the design life it's going to be in millions of revolutions, so this is important. So we will find that. And A here is 3 for ball bearings, and 10 over 3, which is 3.33 for roller bearings. And in this case, what do we have? We have a roller bearing. So we're just going to put that here for A. So we're just going to use this simple equation. Again, this assumes that we've reached plastic deformation and it's going to be our minimum required basic load rating. So if we go back, we can write this equation. We have our C value is going to equal to our P value and we multiply by L take 1 over A. And we know A is going to be what? The 10 over 3 which is around 3.33 so we're going to plug that in for A. So what we're given here is the load. The load is P. It's a radial load. So it's 2,140 pounds. So now if we look at that quick animation, we know our shaft is going to experience some torque. And if we focus on the bearing here, we know we're strictly looking at the radial load, right? So we know that we have a cylindrical roller bearing in this example. And these are very effective at resisting these heavy radial loads. So now we're just changing our view, but I want to point out that we have specifically roller bearings, right, as denoted by the figure. So we know the whole purpose of this bearing is to reduce friction and make rotation more smooth. So we know the shaft is going to be rotating and we want to make it more smooth. So we're going to install these bearings between between those two components and they reduce friction and make what the smoother rotation for the shaft so that's the whole purpose here and we know we have a roller bearing so these are our rollers we're told it's rollers and we account for that for the a value right and the uh, tricky now the tricky thing is the L value now and this is important it has to be if you look in the handbook it has to be the design life in millions of revolutions. So we have to convert that to revolutions, right? So what we do is we're giving, we're given that we have 3000 hours and 500 revolutions per minute. So what you do for the L value, we start with the time here, the total time, which is 3000 hours. And we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, right? So one hour is 60 minutes. And we know there's 550 revolutions per minute. So on top of you, you should have 550 revolutions because we want revolutions as our final unit. And we want minutes down here, so we have one minute. So these cancel, these cancel, we get revolutions here and you should get 90 
and this will be 90 times 10 to the 6 so I want it in million right so when we plug in our value we will just plug in 90 so it's essentially 90 times 10 to the 6 revolutions right but this portion is gonna we're not gonna plug put it in here for the L value we're just gonna put in 90 because it's accounted for when you look it's gonna be in millions of revolutions so we just plug in this 90 so I'll highlight that so now we're just gonna solve for C so our P value is going to be the 2140 pounds and this P value I didn't say this it's only applied in the radio direction this is radio right so this accounts for our P value if we had a force this way a load this way it would be the thrust so we would have to account for the axial direction as well and for the axial direction there's different equations we will go over in the future and so we take this p value we multiply by l which is 90 just plug in 90 and you just do raise to the power of 1 over a and a is going to be around 3.33 or 10 over 3 so now you just solve for c you get around 8263 pounds so this will be our basic load rating and if we look at our answers it should be a so that's all for this one